I hated growing up in Japan. Growing up in Japan was hell for me. I am half black half Japanese and the black part was the only thing that kids in Japan could ever see. They would always be so nice and respectful in public or at school, but when they were behind a computer screen I got called slurs and was told to commit suicide by people who I thought were my friends. I even considered actually doing it when I was in high school. The bullying was so bad that kids were kicking me outside of school and teachers and students just walked on by. I had no friends at all. Everyone was so ignorant too, even the teachers. They would try to get me to play basketball or they would put on rap music. Like, I was born and raised here. I even noticed my mom was disappointed that I wasn't fully Japanese. She always treated me like a burden and made me go to my room whenever we had guests or went in public. I had so much internalized racism at that point. When I got old enough I left the country and I live in the US now. People here are nicer, and I have black friends now, I feel accepted and loved. I still will never get over the trauma though. I remember crying every night, hating myself. I even noticed my mom was disappointed that I wasn't fully Japanese. She always treated me like a burden and made me go to my room whenever we had guests or went in public. Uh, hate to ask, but what did she think would happen when she married and had a child with a black man? People should really see this more. I don't think that the people that wanna move to Japan realize how hateful and racist they are towards foreigners. In my life, I would absolutely love to visit Japan at least once but I would 100 not live there. Even if I was offered to. Japan is one of the most racist countries out there they just hide it better than most. Knew a Japanese girl and a Korean guy who were dating in college. When they got engaged her grandmother threatened suicide. Grew up half Latina in Hokkaido and was called gaijing up until 18. Went to college and everyone thought I acted very Japanese lol what an identity crisis it is to grow up in a country where you only count as half. Now working in Tokyo and made lots of other half friends. A happy support system changed everything but I still feel uneasy with older generations. Americans think racism is rampant here, but they haven't traveled to SE Asia. Not only do most nationalities look down on each other, but they also aren't a fan of other races. Whites are commonly not allowed into Korean or Japanese businesses without a local chaperone. If you're black, or even just fairly dark, there's solid odds you won't be allowed in at all. They'll eventually have to get over their contempt for anyone who isn't 100 Japanese since their birth rate is collapsing so much. Japan has always been a xenophobic, racist society. Even among other Asians. They've historically looked down on Koreans, Chinese and just about every other culture on the planet. I'm so sorry you went through this. But I remember being bullied when I was young for being black in the 80s and 90s in America too. So, I'm glad you've had better experiences here. I'm also black and Japanese but I grew up in the US and I used to wish I hadn't but growing up I realized it wouldn't have been worth it. Just here for the suburban American neckbeard who never once set foot in Japan because ex Chucky vs the truth. You aren't the first black person I heard about this from since a lot of them I knew who went to Japan stayed on base or close to tourist areas. I hung out with a Japanese person once and she ranted on how she hated blacks and Hispanics. I'm sorry you went through this. People are so amazing in every shape and form. Your mix of races makes you unique and you. You have a story to tell and you're full of culture that's so much better than being just one thing. There is an Instagrammer called Ryan Alex and he is half black half Chinese and I love his content. He talks a lot about accepting yourself and your culture and blending his two cultures together and being proud. Give a few of his videos a watch and hopefully it will uplift you a bit like it did me. Best of luck. I'm so sorry this was your experience China is also horribly racist. Japan has a reputation that's well earned for being incredibly racist. They're even racist towards other Asian peoples. Highly nationalistic and xenophobic. 
I'm sorry your mom also encouraged this kind of racism and never did anything to stand up for you. I hope your experience in the US has been better, though we have our own racism issues as well. That's Japan for you. Interestingly enough they've committed war crimes in World War I and World War II. Going against the Geneva Convention but no one talks about them because Germany had Hitler and Russia had Stalin but Japan was just as bad. As a black person myself I know Asians tend to be racist towards black people or minorities. This is actually sick, I wish I could give you a hug. Bro the halflings usually get the worst of it. Even in fiction dead ass. Sorry though. I was in Japan for 13 years end up marriage meet my husband Korean parents but he was born in Japan there. I'm Brazilian and had one daughter she had identity problems. I'm not full Brazilian or Japanese or Korean. It was a big problem and she over and over tried to explain could be friends or relatives. I moved to Los Angeles when she was 9 years old and after that little by little she stopped felling an alien. Japan is a tough place to be. It's one thing to visit there but to live there amongst the people and knowing the language can be a different experience. Lol your mom literally made you with a black man but was disappointed with you being half his race. Make that make sense ha ha ha. Japan has more xenophobia and racism than most places. And clearly there are parts of the US that still do, too. But one thing that always bothers me in Japan is when there are restaurants with signs saying no foreigners allowed or Japanese only. Like imagine if they had something like that here in the states. Lol why is everyone so surprised? Japan is racist af, the image they portray to the international world is way different. I mean nobody acts the way they do at home, at the mall. Even the cleaning after themselves at stadiums and extreme politeness is so that you'll never believe how racist they truly are. Even half Japanese other Asian ethnicities people, hell even if they can't tell unless you tell them, their attitude will change towards you as soon as they find out. They even act betrayed if it's the latter. Why didn't your dad help you out? I'm so glad you moved. There is a super cool American Japanese black man who hosts a podcast called The Daily Zeitgeist. He speaks Japanese because his mother helped him learn. His name is Miles Gray. Just thought you might like to see someone who resembles yourself in a position of somewhat power. He is at least confident in himself now. He regularly speaks about feeling like you did growing up. Hold your head high and be proud of yourself. You made it through all that and are here to tell the story. Hang in there. Knowing how racist Asian communities are even against each other, I can only imagine what you went through, op. I hope someday the world will get over this really stupid, stupid behavior. As a fellow Blasian, I feel for you and feel that with you. No one wants to talk about how racist a lot of Asian cultures are. Back in high school I was a chubby white kid on a competitive Japanese hockey team. Prejudice is there for sure, but luckily it never got too bad for me. I am so sorry this happened to you. I can't even begin to imagine how it must have felt like for a black person to grow up with such extreme racism. My aunt was a white blonde woman with green eyes, and she felt the xenophobia. Heck, I have a half Japanese friend who doesn't look like she's a foreigner in Japan has a Japanese name and surname and all, and she still remembers the bullying she suffered for the year she lived there when she was five. People think Japan is a wonderful, non-problematic place but that's not true. Japan is known to be racist and ethnocentric, have abysmal mental health care and acceptance, and historical censorship and revisionism, most notably regarding war crimes from World War II. While they have gotten better about the comfort women, rape of Nanjing, and Unit 731 due to international pressure, many more atrocities are still hidden from Japanese citizens. I swear being black is such a strange experience. Every race gates you for no goddamn reason. How could your mother be disappointed you weren't fully Japanese? Isn't that her doing? Japanese people seem like they can be really mean. In like a lacking empathy way. I don't know though. 
I'm sorry you suffered so much I wish people everywhere were just better people. This is awful. I'm so sorry you went through that you deserved better people can be so disgusting. I am Chinese and my partner is Filipino. We have two daughters together. But my mother sees my partner as subhuman. Say shit like, them Filipino, humans don't act like that, etc. and kept telling my daughter that she is Chinese, not Filipino. I studied abroad in Japan in college. I often tell people it's a beautiful place to visit, but I would never raise my black children there even if they had ended up biracial. I'm so sorry you had to go through that experience as a child, op. It's always so weird to me that Japan is as racist as it is, because and I know anime nerds are the minority over there lol of how, I'd k, individuated and unique so many TV cartoon pop culture characters are. I guess, very generally speaking OFC, being unique or eccentric is a fantasy, something something about the nail that stands out gets hammered down. Your mom got pregnant by a puck and is upset that you're not fully black. Woozy face, woozy face, woozy face, woozy face, woozy face. Japanese can be very hostile to all foreigners. I know a white guy who lived there for 10 years and spoke Japanese fluently being asked to leave a restaurant because no foreigners. Wow now I'm worried for my friend and his kids that are living in Japan. He's from an African country, married with a Japanese. I've heard some countries can be bad for black people. South Korea is one also. So sorry you had to go through that. Your mum is an R. You are worthy. You're good enough just the way you are. So sad how our skin color is so dividing. Those parents ain't raise their kids right. JFC I am so sorry you had to grow up like that. I wish you happiness and contentment in the rest of your life.